G'day there. How are you going? You're right. That's the story. My name's Gregor, and uh, we're out on uh, our rainforest block here on Mirigallon Road. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you what a Glockman pump does for those of you that are asking me the other day. So uh, come along with me, and let's go and have a little look. Come on, you lot. Where you go? So here we are now at the uh, the track entrance that takes us down to the creek and um, I suppose I should tell you a little bit about where this water is coming from. Basically it's a spring fed creek and it, um, it's year round, running year round at around 10 litres a second which isn't really a hell of a lot. And basically uh, the whole idea was that we had to try and somehow pump this water up uh, 50 metres vertical. So we banged in some 25 mil um, high pressure PVC pipe and um, and pretty much that does the job of uh, transferring the water from the creek up to the tanks and that's about 300 metres long so um, yeah, a bit of a trek down through the rainforest to get to it be there shortly So the problem I've been having with the pump at the moment is um, that the bucket is almost sliding out of the uh, out of the cylinder housing, so or the bucket housing, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so while the pump's operating, you can almost see the bucket come out of the tube where the where the water collects and gets pumped uphill. And uh, so I'll I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see it's running quite irregularly and you can just see the bolt and the white backing plate for, for the bucket so that it shouldn't actually be inside at all. So basically I've just got to pull the arse off the, uh, the pump and just adjust it down so that it disappears, probably about 20mm and all you really need is a 10mm spanner, a couple of 17mm spanners and that's about it. Alright, so um, here's a little shot of uh, the pump with the, um, with the delivery side just taken off. And as you can see, um, on the pumping side, where the uh, leather bucket is, you can just take this end cap off and you can adjust the leather bucket as you want. Otherwise you have to take off the other six uh, nuts to access the diaphragm and do any repairs there. So either way, you can just shut the water off with the little uh, with a little clapper valve there and then you can do whatever maintenance work you want otherwise you wind up having to take the pipe off and, uh, and divert your water. This is a bit of a view looking upstream uh, from where the, the Glockman pump is it's just at my peak just down here and uh, as you can see it doesn't really have much of a head about one and a half metres, 1.5 metres over about a six metre length and um, yeah, pretty much it's just 65mm um, downpipe, PVC downpipe. Um, just on a note with um, where your water intake can be, it can be down here by where the pump is, say in this pool just here behind me, or, uh, or run it like they recommend. You can see the water flowing out of it just here. Okay, and the pipe pretty much goes up to where the low head dam is. It follows the little stream up to where the low head dam is. That way you get a little bit of gravity fed into the pump, which uh, means it doesn't have to draw water so hard. And so here we are, this is the site. So um, as you can see, it's not a very big creek, but it's a permanent creek, and that's uh, a good thing for us. But uh, as you can see, it's not much. Like, um, yep, here you go, here's the low head dam. Really not much at all. We just started off with some uh, bags of gravel piled a few rocks and some geocloth around it using uh, 100 mil PVC with holes bored in it and then meshed over the top of that so um, that screens off the water before it gets into the 65 mil down pipe try and get a shot of it in there and then uh, that heads off down to the Glockman so about a metre and a half of, um, of height or head over a 6 metre distance and uh, 
just pan around this way. And there you have it. Working away merrily there. And that's pretty much working at optimum into the middle one. We've got it there, that's the throttle. That's um, probably the most important one. That one really gauges uh, how much pressure you can build up in the, um, in the system before it pumps any water. And the last one is the, uh, the auto start control. And the auto, these are the two main ones that you'll fiddle around with a bit. The auto start, pretty much you crank that down to whatever point it takes for it to start automatically. As you uh, screw this one down, it starts to want to open up the flapper valve. With the, uh, with the throttle, yeah, the further down you screw this one, the further the door opens and it builds up a lot more pressure before it can actually shut. So um, I'll open this one up, we'll just start it up and have a look and just play around with the throttle just so you get an idea of, uh, of how the adjustment affects it. So that's just running normal. If I want to crank it up a bit more by screwing the throttle down, we go a couple of turns and already it's taking a little bit longer before the uh, door wants to shut on it. So it's building up a lot more pressure now and that'll pump us a lot higher. If on the other hand I wanted to pump a little bit more gently and quickly, you twist the throttle out. And it takes a lot less uh, pressure. Less pressure, of course, means uh, less pressure on your bucket to pump the water. So that's essentially what's happening there. But as I recommend, you should uh, just adjust it so that it's pumping water about once a second and that the spring comes right out to a fully uh, open position so that the water can get into the chamber before it's pumped out again. So that's working spot on about there. And that's probably pretty much your, uh, your level one and know about a clock and pump. But um, yeah, any questions, give, give us a yell, Daniel, and um, see what we can do.